I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play yet, there are links below the video to the lesson playlist. This exercise that I call Siamese Force is really great if you play in tournaments where there are prizes. Prizes, let's say for the first hand in each category on the card. I have here one strip for every category on the card. We're going to pick six and force some hands. If you're just learning how to play Siamese Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to improve your game, consider subscribing and then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls for Siamese Force. I have all my tiles out and here are my strips. We're going to grab six random categories here. Oops, might as well take that one. Addition. Here's three, six, nine. Oh, might as well take those two now. They stuck together. Like numbers. Consecutive run. One, three, five, seven, nine. One more. Winds and dragons. Since we're playing two hands at one time, we'll force two at one time. I'll take 28 random tiles. Okay, here we go. All right, addition, we only have one flower. Three, six, nine. We have threes, threes, six, six, but no nines. Consecutive number or consecutive run. We have two, three, two, three, but no matching four. Two, three, we've got a lot of one, two, three. We could do one, two, three with twos in the middle maybe. Let's see about like numbers though. We have two, 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 but only one flower. Let's see, one, three, five, seven, nine. And then winds and dragons. Okay, this will be a challenge. So I'm thinking we could do consecutive run for sure with um, maybe two, three, actually, let me see, two, three, maybe like numbers we should do. There's like numbers. Then for the next one, we could do, let's see, we have seven, Six, I'm thinking maybe lucky 13, but we're using our flower up here. You don't, you want to try to make it so that you're not sharing tiles between the two hands. Okay, so let's try five, six, seven, eight for consecutive. Let's see what we can do there. Okay, so we have like numbers and five, six, seven, eight. Anytime you're in mixed suits with like numbers, you wanna pick four numbers around, around a range of your multiples. So in this case, there's the seven. We could play five, six, five, six, seven, for example. 
five, six, five, six, seven, right there. We could also play five, six, five, six, or five, six, seven, eight. The five, six, five, six, seven is the fourth one down under consecutive run, and five, six, seven, eight is the second one. So we have a lot of discards, 12 discards. I try to pick categories that will leave about eight discards. So this is going to be a bit rough. So let's just think about it for a minute and see if there's a better option. Since we have no nines, I just don't think a, a um, big odds hand is going to work. And because we have this pung of sevens, I really think we should use it. I think this is going to be, let's see here. We could do like numbers. Maybe we could do like numbers with sevens and use the threes with little odds. One, three, three, five. Let's just look at that. So if we did it this way, we would have 12 discards. Let's look and see if we did like numbers with sevens there and then a one three three five option here some some kind of one three three five i think there are going to be more discards that way yeah look we have one more discard if we played a one three three five and we wouldn't be able to use all of them. Let's see here. Yeah, see? This leaves 14 discards. So the other plan, I think, used more tiles. So like numbers with threes and five, six, seven, eight, and you do not have to pick a hand when you have discards. So I would hold all the five, six, seven, eight until you run out of discards and then pick a hand. So in this case, we would hold all these tiles. When we run out of discards after collecting every five, six, seven, eight tile we can, then you pick a hand. We also have some joker bait that we might be able to get some jokers from during the pick and discard phase of the game with the twos. So I think I'm going to call it for like numbers and, oops, this is the wrong one, consecutive run. Like numbers and consecutive run. Okay, two down. I don't know if these would be winners. There's a lot of discards there. All right, let's do the next ones. Addition 369, odds and wins and dragons. Addition, we have no flowers. 369, we do have a 9, a 3, a couple of 6s. 36, let's look at 369. There are some opportunities here. Pair of 3s, pair of 6s. Here's a 3, 6, and even here's a 9. I would still hold that 6. I basically hold every tile for whatever category you're focused on. So even though three, six, three, six, nine is an actual hand, uh, it would be the fourth hand down under three, six, nine. I still would hold every three, six, nine and just gather. When I run out of discards, then I would pick a hand. 
gathering all the tiles for any given category early on in the game gives you as many options as possible. So I would say a 369 is a good possibility. Then for the remaining tiles, we have odds. So let's look at all of our odds. This is really set up more for evens. That's going to be a challenge. Look at all those evens and multiples. We have a lot of joker bait here. But if we're forcing a hand, this is what it looks like. So for the odds category, which I think is going to be best because we only have one dragon, no wins, and we have no flowers, I think the odd category is the next best choice. The challenge here is we're using threes up here. If we're playing, for example, little odds, our threes are up here. So we might actually focus on big odds here. Maybe five, seven, five, seven, nine. We need nine crack or nine bam. We do have jokers that we can use to help out. That will help kind of build that hand a little bit. So three, six, nine for this first option. And then five, seven, nine, maybe a big odds hand down here. I would hold the ones because they are odd and I would just gather every odd tile I can and between the two, make it work. We do have three pair of joker bait, but we're playing for prizes. So I would use those as joker bait. I would discard these first Hopefully you can get a joker or two out of these multiples that are not gonna be used. You just have to time it right so that your opponent is desperate enough to make an exposure with a joker where then you can discard one, they would expose with a joker, and then on your next turn you would use the second one to exchange that joker. That's how I would play this in order to attempt to win a three, six, nine and an odd category. If you would do something different in the comment section, write hand two and what you would have done differently. Okay, now we're going to try for addition and wins and dragons. Wins and Dragons and Addition. We have only one flower. <laughs> Wins and Dragons. I'm thinking maybe we could do East and West with uh, evens. We do have a couple of sixes here. East and West with sixes. That is a pretty bleak start right there. And then for addition, we could do, here's a one three. We do have some nines. Here's a four, nine, four, one, three. We do have two joker bait. I think I would hold all the winds and dragons just in case another wind and dragon opportunity comes up during the pick and discard phase of the game. But this is how I would play it. Okay, four the wind and dragon category. Hold every wind and dragon you get. Maybe east and west with sixes, because east and west go with evens. Then for the addition hand, nine, four, 13 in one suit. As an option, hold the nine if we get a four crack. 
then we have two pair of joker bait that we might be able to leverage. I would start by discarding these and then when the moment is right, start discarding the joker bait to try to get some jokers. Gather winds and dragons, gather nines and fours, and of course flowers. So that's how I would play the addition and winds and dragons. We'd have to draw really well to make these work. Forcing hands is quite a challenge, but if you practice, it's not that intimidating. And when you go to special events, if you can force hands, take home some prizes. If you have a set at home, get it out and practice this random pulls with Siamese force. And then the next tournament that you play in, force some hands. Come back and let me know if you want a prize. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to pick up some new strategies or gain an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table, especially at a tournament or other special event. Between now and the next Siamese Force for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.